for for this uh, this match where you have uh, Italy, uh, sorry Denmark, having a bye in their quarterfinal, then w winning against Russia in the semifinals, they're two thirty six, so they were one point. They were just one point off their world record. Wow. Both very solid. Super super close, and then we have Italy being uh, having a bye in the quarterfinals and winning against Great Britain in the semifinals, shooting the world record. Seeing them coming on stage yes. right now, Marcella Tonioli, Laura Longo, and. Irena Francini, and then for the Danish, Erika Anir, Tanya Jensen, and Sarah Sonnishen. They all seem very relaxed and all very... very good compound shooters. Yes, yes, we saw Tanya Jensen not many weekends ago shooting at 900 in Vegas, believing she is the third or fourth woman to ever mm -hmm. shoot a 900. Shot at 900, which is amazing. Amazing score. Then we see Sarah Sonnishen, who was second in the... Uh, World Cup final outdoors in uh, Odenseer, Denmark. I think Marcella Tonioli won that. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Sorry. She's been shooting very... She's such a good archer. I think all of these archers are... Uh, this will be a match to see. Yeah. I'm expecting great things out of these archers. And here we see the thing we noticed this morning, where not many of the juniors had many uh, spare bows or backup bows, where we see that in here we have plenty of backup bows. I mean, all of the Italian team. Here we see pieces of the Italian team and the, the Spanish team. I believe Denmark will be going off first. Starting up with... Tanya, see how that first arrow will go. It's always good if we start if you start off strong with a ten. Yeah, I mean they have the experience, so. Oh yes. It'll be. This team has fine. shot together so many times. That's, wow. That's a solid start of arrow. I think you can be happy about that. And <laughs> Starting off with that, putting the pressure on Italy. Here we see Erika Anir. I mean That's another 10. Color coordinated bow with a blue and blue and pink. And Sarah Sonnishen, second at the World Cup Finals in Odensee. That's a good shot. Good shot. Wow. Starting off solid. Starting off strong, showing Italy that we're not here to mess around. Irene Francini, right? Yep. Oh, that's a good shot. I think this will be a very good scoring final. I hope so. Maybe we might see a new world record again. Again. That's another 10. We see That's here. A liner. Yeah. The Italians are, are switching, are shooting on, are moving around on, on target faces a little bit. As they were yeah, doing. Yeah, that's what we saw this morning as well. Yes, yes. Taking a little more time. Still that's putting that shot. in. No problem taking your time as long as you shoot where you want to. Yeah, that's what we saw this morning as well. Some of the shooters are just very fast. I know Tanya's quite a fast shooter. Yes. Because I, um, I was on the same lane um, during qualifications. Yeah. You shot with her later in the animations as well, didn't you? Yeah, in the matches as well. I, um, yeah, two of the um, first... Uh, Abdieva, then against Tanya, and then against... Savinko? Yeah. So... That's good. Wow. Solid. Let's see if we can start this match off perf perfect as well. Maybe. Let's see what Sarah does. Sarah Sonnishan has all the, all the experience that she needs to be able to do so. And she should... Sh 60 solid points. Time. You Another 60 for one of the finals. You can't start it off any better. <coughs> well, we didn't see any 60s this morning. We already got two. Yeah, what you asked for. <laughs> and they are 
See so, yeah, which one did she shoot? Oh, yeah, she shot, to shot the top left. Top left. I was very close. It might be in. So a 60 for the Danish and. Oh, that's, that's a big a nine. nine. Depending on what the two liners are going to do. It might either be a 3, 2 or 1 point lead, depending on what Marcella Tonioli does here. Holding for a good bit. And just that's out. out. So it might either be a 4, 3 or 2 point lead. Let's see what the judges say. Seeing them in the background. Going up there, scoring all the arrows. Well, we have the uh, yeah. the archers' agents. The Being Danish there. are all very much in. Yes, yeah, they shot solid tens. Not a single doubt that they had the a sixty. The lighting is in a way. The Italian speaking with the judge. I think that's something about the lighting. Yeah. I'm not sure. Might be the camera, maybe. Italian team cheering for the for the compound ladies. So two point lead for Denmark. Of course with a very solid first round. Oh yeah. Fifty eight isn't a bad score, but when someone drops a sixty on you, wow. Then you gotta work for it. It's going to be first up on Italy because they're a little behind. Yeah, just two points behind, and it's so close. But so every team round, it's the team that's um, trailing a little bit is going to be the one that's first of the start. If we've got any ties, the ones a good that, shot. Yeah. Ten. If we've got any ties, the ones that um, started the first round are going to start again. Laura Longo. Drawing a bow back, setting to shoot. Looking a bit shaky, but it's a 10. Can't argue with the results. Just shooting on the spot that feels best for you for the first spot. Yes. See here yeah, what Marcella can do. It's looking pretty solid, and that's a 10. Solid 10. They're doing all solid. they can. Yeah. Can't do more than that, can you? With archery, it's just, what do you got to do? Shooting 10s. There's never a strategical place to miss. <laughs> that's a 10, and they're keeping on their streak, seven straight 10s. Let's see if, we, if they can beat Russia's streak of 10s of eight. Erika Anir. Getting a good look of those pink and purple arrows, and that's a nine. Oh, that's just Looked very solid. Yeah. Uh, just sometimes you don't get what you wish for. Sarah Sonishan. Going with the color scheme of blue and orange. That's a yeah, ten. That's in. Great shooting. So up until now, Italy's There's one pulled one. one point back. Yes. Only trailing by one point now, and that is close. That's a good shot. That's, good ten. It's that's no, what it's they have nine. to keep doing. No. It's a nine. The oh, the first one was yes, ten. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I get confused with that one yeah. as well. See so yeah, what Lara Longo can do, and that's a 10. That's a 10. Oh, the 
they're shooting uh, one le both left target, one both on right the target, and then Marcella is shooting both the bottom targets. Oh, right. That's, That's solid. good. Wow. Nice center punching that. So for this round, the Danish can either tie the same score and they'll still be in that lead. Looking focused, looking oh, strong. Looking good. Almost 10. Let's see what Erica does with this arrow. Very pink. That's a good That's shot, good. and it's a 10. See what if Sarah Sonishan can can continue. Oh. Nice. Great. Good so shooting. She looked a little bit unhappy. I don't know why, but she was uh, she was shaking her head over at the shooting Somet line. Sometimes you have those shots where you're like, okay, it's in a ten, but I'm not perfectly satisfied with how I shot it. But still, it's a 10, so yes. Yes. it'll be fine. So it's a 59-59 round. That means, uh, that means uh, Denmark is in the driver's seat by two points up over Italy. I, uh, the level of this competition right now is pretty intense. Shooting 60-59 by Denmark and then 58-59 by Italy. Only dropping one in the first 12 arrows. Yes, that is very impressive. Very, very impressive. Fist bumps all around. Trying to keep each other motivated, yeah. keep each other up, up to the task and, and uh, keeping it friendly. You can see that both teams seem to be very relaxed. Yeah. Italy are looking to uh, <coughs> come out ahead because they are... They're up first. Yeah, they're up first and they are looking ready. It, while Denmark is just standing back and chilling for a while. I think that's a, a, uh, a good way to, to look at this. Here we see Irene Francini as she shoots a 10. Wow. Wow. It's. This is one of the. This is probably finals the finals that you want yeah. to see. For a uh, European gold medal, this is how you want to shoot. Oh, that's a big nine. It's all right. It's all right. It's just one shot. You can. Uh, can always. Uh, can always. Uh, Get that back. Marcella Tonioli taking aim, looking focused and steady, and she shoots a 10. Wow. The, I'm amazed by the level that they, these, these, these ladies are shooting. Wow. Tanya shooting a solid 10. Tanya shot the she same hasn't. hole. <laughs> she, ha she has only stretched the hole just a little bit. She I think uh, she and Sarah have been doing that both. Wow. They're definitely on a roll. Erika looks a little bit tense and, and holding for a little bit. Oh, that's a ball. That's a good shot, that's right? In. It's a 10. Just it's a they they're just doing really good. Just keep on keeping on. Here we see Sarah Sonishan going up for her first shot of the third end. Oh, that's a 10. That's a 10. I think that's I it. I think that's in. That looks really in. Yeah. So, from so far, Tanya and Sarah both haven't dropped one 10. That's incredible.
That's some fine shooting right there. <coughs> 10 for Italy. They're all shoot having rather, there's no one who's like, like shooting form wise. It's, there's no one who's really, uh, really standing out there. What I can, what I can think of. Most of them are rather standard, rather the same, at least it is. And they are shooting super well. Just Marcella is having a very cool hair day, <laughs> or maybe hair week. I, don't I know. think Marcella always has a very cool hair day. Oh yeah, <laughs> different color every competition. Oh really? <laughs> wow. Let's Some see people if they can see keep this streak going. And she yeah, is. Yeah, she she's does. She's just stretching her hole and she's shooting tens. Some people think that the hair might influence the archery. I was speaking to one of the Finnish guys the other week, and he said that he doesn't cut his hair during the during the uh, indoor season because he's superstitious. It will go bad. Mm. Oh, that's a big nine. It's all right. It's fine. So shoots another ten. Then they'll still be in the lead for this round. Going to be tied for this round, but still that oh, yes. two-point lead that they oh, yes. took in that first. That's a good shot. That's a ten. She shoots a ten. Wow. Wow. So just dropping, I think, two nines. The, the depends on what that one liner is doing. But I think that's I think that was in. So I think uh, Denmark shot 59. From what we could see, that looked very in. Yes, yes. So I think Denmark shot 59. So then it's a uh, three-point lead for Denmark. Possibly, yeah. yes, yes. 59. Three. So 60, 59, 59. Wow. That's a good <coughs> score. That's, uh, that is uh, on the track of shooting a new uh, record. If they can clean. If they, if they finish this off with another perfect round. Then, they, then they'll be good. We'll see. we'll see if they, can, if they can come through with that. Three Danish girls who are shooting great. Shooting great this whole competition. Hearing Italy in the background, the trying to cheer Italian on their team. The Italian team are trying to support the Italian archers, just trying to get them focused enough to, to shoot this last end as good as they possibly can. Right now, Denmark is not looking like they will let go of the lead at They're all. They're looking very yes. relaxed, actually. Very relaxed and very confident and strong. Very confident. It, Italy are looking ready and they are looking hungry to... to They're going to uh, give it their all. Yes, yes. It's the last end for who, who will become the European champions. You can see it in their eyes, Irene Francini. She definitely wants this. And she's getting on the line and getting ready for, for her shot. That's There's not what they need. That is not what they need right now. They, they need to start shooting tens right now. Yes, they can't afford to drop many more points. Maybe Laura will do that. That's a ten. That's good. That's, That's good. exactly what they need, and a couple more of those. It's trying to put that last bit of pressure on uh, Denmark. On Denmark to, to make them see that they are still in the game, because right now, Denmark is ruling this. I love that color of a bow. Oh, yeah. It's such a good color. That's good shooting, and it's a 10. 29. Yes. It's not, it's not bad, but when you're up against someone like Denmark, who's shot two nines in 18 arrows, you, it's, there's not much you can do, is there? No. See so yeah, Tanya Jensen if she can keep on her or on a streak of ten. That's a good <laughs> shot. It's ten. Awesome. Tanya Jensen, did she did she shoot a five ninety one in qualification? Sorry. What did Tanya Jensen shoot in qualification? Um, five ninety one. Uh, uh, I know that she qualified second. 
we can look it up. Actually, Erica with a shot, solid ten. A 10 and, uh, Just keep going like yes, that. Yes, she did shoot 591. Yeah, that 591, some, qualifying second. Wow, that's some good shooting. Sarah Piels, who, who qualified first, will see in the gold medal match as well. Yes, tomorrow she shot a 300. Aye, oh, that's, a, that's nine. a 9. Okay, so 207 towards 204. Still three-point lead for Denmark. Italy are trying to do the best they can right now to, to still stay in the match, but three arrows for three points. It's highly unlikely, but anything can happen. That's a nine. It's a nine. Hard Not. to see with that other arrow in front of it. Oh, yes. Looks like Sarah is, uh, Sarah is getting ready back there. That's nine. Wow, this is not what Italy needs right now. I think Sarah was feeling uh, like breaking that record again. But yes, yes. Just out. Now they can still tie it, but... It won't be as cool, though. No. It will still be super cool, but it won't be Still be cool. really great to That's just a great see, shot. see a world record being shot and being tied in one competition. Yeah, Marcella shot well, shot very, very well. And their whole Italian team shot good. Let's see here what the Danish girl does. Tanya Jensen just yet to miss one. And she didn't miss a ten. single 10. All 10s all the way. All 10s all the way. Let's see what Erica does. If she can, she can continue what her teammates have been doing. Looks Looking a little, a little bit. Taking a little long. That's a liner. That's I a think. liner. I think it I was think in. in. But oh, it's an eight to win it. She, she just has to hit the target. So no world record and no tying of a world record. But it was cool anyway. Let's see what Sarah does. And she shoots a 10. <laughs> and they just won nice the gold. Time. A 236, 235, I think 236 will be a really good score. Yes. Then Just drop, dropping out of four or five arrows out of the, what, 24. That's very solid. Congratulations, Denmark, to becoming European Championship, European Champions and winning the European Championship here in Vittel, France.